I heard this from a son-in-law of the Seret Vishnitz Rebbe Shlit in Haifa. It was a rabbi in Haifa, he had a shul. Near the shul, there was a clothing store that was owned by an Israeli citizen living in Haifa, a secular Jew who kept the store open on Shabbos. The rabbi of the shul asked him if he can close the store just for the morning hours of Shabbos. People come to shul out of respect for your neighbor. He said, no, I'm a secular Jew. I keep my store open on Shabbos. You have a shul, do you? The store was successful. It would attract people Shabbos morning. And it really bothered the rabbi. They would come out of shul and people were hanging out. The store really didn't create a positive environment. And he went to the Seret Vizhnitz Rebbe at the time. His name was Reboruch Hager of blessed memory. He passed away in the 1960s. And he asked him what to do about this person who's desecrating Shabbos publicly, Befahasi. And the Seret Vizhnitz Rebbe looked at him and said, I want to ask you a question. Do you love this Jew? He said, absolutely not. I actually loathe him. In fact, how could I love him? He's desecrating Shabbos publicly. Despite my requests, he violates the Shabbos. He desecrates God and Judaism and Yiddishkeit and Shabbos, and he does it in public. I'm not even allowed to love him if I would want to. I have to loathe such a person. So the Seret Vizhnet Rebbe looked at him and said, I want to ask you a question. You say that the reason you hate him is because he desecrates Shabbos. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe he desecrates Shabbos because you hate him. Which means you're the one who's responsible. She's like, what do you want me to do? He says, maybe if you would love him, you would stop violating Shabbos. He says, how do I love him? Figure it out. You're saying, it's it. maybe it's about you, not about him. He says, what should I do? He said, next Shabbos morning, go into him on the way to Shul and tell him that you love him. He said, but I don't. He says, well, you have till Shabbos to work on it. Figure it out. He says, why should I love him? Because he's your brother. Because his soul is a piece of God, just like your soul. If you're genuine, do it for six months, every Shabbos morning. To his credit, this rabbi went in Shabbos morning. The owner of the store saw him and said, Ah, lech me pa! And he says, No, no, I didn't come here to ask you of anything. He says, So why are you here? That city lagid lecha Shabbat shalom, ani ohevotcha. Good Shabbos, I love you. He says, Ma, tamashuga? You lost your mind, you went insane. He says, I'm not Why do you love me? He says, You're my brother. You're a Jew, I love you. I want to hug you. He gives him a big hug. Came back the next Shabbos morning and he did the same thing. Next Shabbos, the same thing. Six months later, the store was closed. Had the Seret Vision Rebbe not told him those words, for the rest of his life, he would have looked at himself and say, I am holier than thou. I am a righteous Jew. He is a wicked Jew. And he would have really felt comfortable about his holiness and religiosity. It would have never dawned on him once that it's not the person's Chilul Shabbos that created his hatred, it's his hatred that contributed to the Chilul Shabbos. TheYeshiva.net